Since the establishment of the Bolt Hostel, there have been many people that arrived at the door to donate furniture, clothes, bed linen, volunteering their time, their labour and skills. There has been a communal kitchen area stroke TV area created, all by the donations of fridges, microwave, washing machine, cooker, tables and chairs, sofa, a TV and a DVD player by people. Many people from many different backgrounds have taken part in helping to establish and create the Bolt Hostel and to bring it to this stage. Not all the volunteers are political or community activists. Most of the volunteers are ordinary people that have come together to help and give their time and energy totally selflessly, not expecting any recognition or anything in return. The buzz and the excitement of helping to create a living space to house homeless people, including families, helped the volunteers to plough through and work throughout the day. Everyone chatted while working, no one knew each other, but chatted like they were old friends. A team of volunteers made tea and coffee and distributed cups throughout the day. People called in, leaving sandwiches and food they'd made for the volunteers. This was solidarity through direct action. People taking the steps themselves to create a better life for people in need of a home. People the volunteers more than likely didn't know or will never meet. This was mutual aid. These people weren't waiting any longer on the state to create change or they weren't waiting on the politicians that promised the sun, moon and the stars in order to be elected. There was a buzz in the air in the boat, a feeling of excitement and enthusiasm. This is mutual aid at its finest. Reporting for Solidarity Times.